calm after a week of violent protests at the University of Pretoria. But it's an uneasy one. Students are being screened upon entering campus. Others have been barred and suspended for allegedly inciting violence. These are the tactics to derail, to derail the change in the institution. And uh, we're going to work on these things. We're going to respond properly to them. And we're going to continue with the protest up until our demand are ahead, up until our cries are ahead. We're not going to stop. Across the country, students have been protesting. Here, it was over the university's language policy. The university and several political movements are advocating inclusive dialogue. And some students agree that's the only way. All we want is for peaceful engagement. We understand that this is a very um, sensitive issue on both sides. It's very emotionally driven. It's, many have make, made it a very personal thing as well. And then there's broader context of transformation. So it is, it's very sensitive. So understand that there's a, we understand um, that there's always a possibility that things could get out of hand. Hence, we urge all stakeholders just to act professionally and engage peacefully. Others are just anxious to get back to class. People want to go to school as much as I do, like, because what has been happening has slowed us down and stuff. So I hope they get what they want so that we can have peace here at school. I'm hoping to go back to class and just get my degree and peaceful and everybody just accepting each other and tolerating each other as the loving nation that we really are. A broad range of political parties across the political spectrum have agreed to throw their collective support fully behind the reopening of this university. They want to ensure that the university is not closed again, except for exceptional circumstances. You're listening to Jamela CCTV in Pretoria, South Africa.